The now usual end to the season here in Portimao for the European Le Mans series, much anticipated. And actually the race moved to Saturday, which means we're qualifying on Friday. As usual, it's the LMGT3s out first, but after a significant delay. So all of these drivers with the bit between their teeth. Martin Berry ran it close in the number 97 Grid Motorsport by TF Aston. It'll be a third place start for him tomorrow. Formula Racing 143.377 gets them second place for Johnny Lawson in this bronze only session. Not a million miles away from the eventual pole sitter. However, Sarah Bovey, a real rich vein of form at the start of the year. You couldn't stop her getting pole positions, three from three. There's been a break at Spa and at Mugello, but here in Portimao, top of the shop again. And I said it was close. In fact, it was nearly a second clear for Sarah Bovey, much to the surprise of those associated with the Iron Dames and with Iron Links as well. We moved swiftly on to the LMP3s next and 11 of them hitting the track with the first initial laps being set by the 12 WTM by Wockenspiegel Team Monschau crew and Rinaldi racing and across the line in third position for Oscar Tugno. A man with pole positions earlier on this year has been Wyatt Brikacek and for DKR Engineering he managed to get second position in that now familiar Duquesne with its pixelated livery but it's cool racing Manuel Espirito Santo with another pole position he's now got back to back poles with Mugello and one earlier on in the season as well and cool racing the outside bet in the championship fight they're racing without Cedric Ultramar this weekend so it's a completely home lineup he and Miguel Cristoval and I'm sure have brought a lot of supporters here to their home race in Portimao. A pause then before the LMP2 Pro-Ams hit the racetrack and it was a good run for the championship leaders Francois Perodo, a bronze only session again remember third place they will start in a race that they would love to win to take the title. Winners last time out in Mugello Richard Mille by TDS and it was the American racer Rodrigo Sales setting the second best time however the qualification specialist has proven to be all season Giorgio Roda only one pole that he's not managed so five from six is an incredible record he was clear by six tenths of a second and Proton competition with their number 77 car with that now familiar tyre track across the car's livery. It means a, a terrific effort from him. Another point to the championship. They are trailing by several, but that maybe brings them back into contention. And then one more final 15 minutes of the LMP2s as they headed to the racetrack. And this one bubbled nicely with all sorts of different names in the sphere of taking pole position. Will Stevens for Nielsen Racing in the 27 car was really pushing hard from the off and heading now across the start finish line to go third with a 131.174. Cool Racing's Malta Jakobsen, who, if you remember back a couple of seasons in LMP3, you couldn't stop him taking pole positions, got very, very close for the same team, Cool Racing, but will start on the front row alongside this man, Charles Milesi. It's been three races since he was last on top of the pile for Olivier Panis's team, Panis Racing. But Charles, again, showing everybody else how to do it. A huge huge margin of nearly four tenths of a second when the whole of the field was separated by less than a second. We've always known that Charles Malaisi is a big talent and he'll start the final ELMS race from pole position tomorrow.